Hey folks, welcome back to another Star Wars LEGO review. This time I've got Duel on Naboo, set number 75169. This is from the first quarter of the 2017 range of LEGO Star Wars sets. Um, contains 208 pieces, I think it was. I've just got my phone here, 208 pieces. Um, yeah, retailing at $39 here in Australia from Kmart, and I think Big W will price the same. Um, uh, probably a bit cheaper than that, probably somewhere between $25 and $30 in the USA, I'm sure. Um, again, I'm not too sure on the prices in the UK. So I'll endeavour to do some research and just sort of get a rough estimate of what some of these sets are worth. Um, this is a cool set, I've been looking forward to this one too. It's much in the same vein as the sort of the Cloud City Carbonite Chamber that we got last year. Um, and it's not a full... It's sort of a section of a of a uh, section of an area, I guess. So you've got the end of the the end jewel um, and the red gate to let Obi Wan through. Comes with three minifigures, and probably the main reason why I got the set. It's a cool set nonetheless. But Darth Maul, um, Obi Wan Kenobi, and Qui Gon Jinn. Um, I, my first ever Lego set back in 1999, my first Lego Star Wars set, I had a lot of Lego before that, but it came with the Darth Maul and a Qui-Gon Jinn. I still have those minifigures, they are in rough shape, so it's very nice to finally have an upgrade. Um, I know we've had a few Darth, Maul, Darth Mauls in the past, um, I know there's been a few Qui-Gons, but this, yeah, this is the first set that's come along that I've been able to... that's been a little bit more affordable, I think. Um, there's been a couple of sets like uh, the Sith... Infiltrator Darth with came with Darth Maul and I think Qui Gon, but that was a little bit too pricey. I decided to skip on that one. It was a cool set and I wish I would have got it, but it was just, yeah a little bit pricey. Um, so I'm glad I waited and got the minifigures in this set. On the back again, got Lego sort of displaying all the play features, which is nice. Anyway, onto the set. Let's get a good look at this thing. What I will do, I'll go through the minifigures first. So we'll, I'll leave that out. we'll start with Darth Maul. Let me try and zoom up on him. There we go. Now he's a cool minifigure. Again, this is the first Darth Maul I've had in a long time. The Darth Maul got a 99 actually had a hood. So I don't think they've done the spiky hair yet, or the spiky head. Uh, that's a separate piece and that's sort of a soft rubbery plastic as well so again you're not gonna step on that and in the middle of the night <laughs> and hurt yourself double bladed lightsaber which is nice um, yeah I kind of wish they come up with a different hilt for more I think that would be cool the printing's pretty nice just sort of grey outlines to sort of show you where his robes sort of sit and again on the back for his belt and a couple of silver studs silver dots there for the buttons uh, same on the front there's a few silver silver dots there for the for the buttons and his face is awesome <laughs> really cool really cool print on that he's a great minifigure I'm a really big fan of Darth Maul put him aside we got Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is another great minifigure. I was really happy to get this one. So we got the Jedi robe. I love that little Padawan braid that they added in. I think that's really, really cool. So he's got the blue lightsaber. But again, nice Jedi, nice printing of the Jedi robes. The belt is nice. He's got a double printed face, so he's sort of got his angry face. He's sort of just stern looking face which is which is pretty good also. Yeah, printing with some buckles and stuff on the back. So Obi-Wan Kenobi is a good good minifigure too. And now Qui-Gon Jinn, this is this is a great minifigure. Still got the same hair 
that the one in 1999 had. It was a little bit more solid. This one seems to be a little bit more rigid. Um, yeah, it's hard, it's hard to say what I mean. I could show you, but I haven't got the figure at hand at the moment. I don't think. I'm just trying to have a scan around. No, I don't have it on hand at the second. But, yeah, it looks like they've just tightened up the, the mould of that hair over the years. And it was just a little bit more like... A little more like that. <laughs> but this is cool. Again, nice printing with the Joe Robes. He's got his brown pants. Green lightsaber. And similar printing to Obi-Wan on the back. And there you see his second printed face, which is, oh no, I've just been stabbed through the chest face. That's what I'm calling it anyway. And he's sort of stern looking Qui-Gon. I love Qui-Gon Jinn. I think he's a great character. And this is a cool minifigure too. So onto the set. I'll just zoom out again. We'll get a, get a decent look at this thing. Yeah, that's all right. It's it's not a bad looking set. It's a quite a small little display piece. Um, you get a couple of little play features on the side here. So you've got a little pushable in arm which flicks open those red gates. Still from the back. So it's not too bad. Um, got a little wall there. This platform was a little bit bigger, I think. And maybe another wall around the back or around the side, just to sort of a bit more of a backdrop. I think this set would win a lot more. Down the bottom here, and this sort of little generator, power generator thing. Wasn't entirely necessary, but it is what it is. And then you've got inside, you've got a little clear plate. So you could have. I don't know, I haven't tried this myself. So you can drop a minifigure in there and get to pop them out. There you go, that's the playability. So everyone falls in. <laughs> I'm gonna have so much fun with that later. Um, yeah, that's about it for playability features, but again, it wasn't a bad build. Not a particularly exciting result. Um, I think some of the, this around here looks quite cool, but um, it's this this bit under here is a little bit of a mess. Um, it's all right. It serves its purpose, but um, yeah, your your main display is up the top there. So yeah, I think the display part of it's more important for me. I know for young kids, it's going to be about the playability. So um, each to their own, of course. Um, these are designed predominantly with kids in mind, I'm sure. So. <laughs> I know if I was a kid, I'd, I'd be loving that. I think that'd be the coolest thing ever. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty nice, nicely done little set. So definitely like to hear what you guys think. Um, I'm going to try and set these little mini figures up real quick. And get him to hold his lightsaber. I'm just going to set him up roughly. So not a bad little set. So yeah, let me know what you think, guys. Um, definitely drop any, quest any questions and I'll answer them as soon as I can. And uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this. Until my next video, guys, may the force be with you.